Tom Clark's main event is a Boink Studios production. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Boink Studios. And check us out on boinkstudios.com where you can see all of our projects, past, present, and future. And now, on with the show. This is Daddy's show. Step off. <laughs> Hey, hey, what is up? Welcome back to the program, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tom Clark, and this is Tom Clark's Main Event. We're back once again here on Facebook Live. Glad you are with us. We're also recording today. The show will post on YouTube and is always available on boinkstudios.com. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes, Google Play, and iHeartRadio. This is episode number 163, and yes, we're moving right along here on Facebook Live. I want to thank everyone for joining us here, of course, and for coming back each and every week. Much thanks to Heidi Ryan and the whole crew at Wrestling Rumors for giving us this platform. We do greatly appreciate it. So episode number 162 was the Pro Wrestling Grab Bag. We talked about all sorts of stuff, whatever came to mind, and we did it with a ton of gusto. But that was a while ago, two weeks to be exact. So we're back now, and we're ready to roll. This time, the main event is the 2019 Christmas Show. See the hat? If you're just listening, you can't see the hat. But just so you know, I've got on a jolly old St. Nicholas hat. It's the hat he wears when he's doing his work. When he's unpacking his sack and some such stuff. So, uh, it's good to be back. I have to be honest. Um, uh, As I said before we started recording today, I don't know how long this one's going to be. Um, You know, it's it's been a... uh, It's been a... um, Long road. Uh, This is, uh, uh, I like to be transparent with the audience and let you guys know where my head's at. Uh, I usually have a ton of energy, but uh, I don't really have that very much today. It was a week ago yesterday that I lost my sister, and uh, it sucks, and it's going to take a long time to get over that, but uh, we have to move forward. Um, Always forward, forward always. So that's where I'm at right now. So uh, thank you for being patient. Thank everyone out there for the prayers and the comments and the thoughts and the well wishes. They have been much appreciated. They continue to be much appreciated. Please keep them coming. My family is very grateful, as am I. So um, I'm doing this. Here's the phone, uh, which typically I have. (laughs) This is usually the thing recording. However, it's not recording this time. Uh, This time, I'm actually on the webcam. I have a new webcam uh, hooked up. Didn't pay tons of money for it. Hopefully, it's not obvious. So, um, yeah. Um, Merry Christmas, everybody. That's a a terrible way to start off a Christmas episode, right? But Merry Christmas. Hope everyone's having a great season thus far. We are all... um, we're all uh, uh, last-minute shopping, maybe. I'm probably going to go out after the show today and do some last-minute shopping. Um, let's see. Robbie says, it's been two years since Mom and Dad. Oh, uh, Rob, my condolences to you, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Darren. We're going to kick it off with Darren. A bunch of you are saying nice things to me, and thank you very much. So Darren is asking, what's my take on Liv Morgan? Um, I'm interested to see what they do. Am I excited? I can't say I'm excited. I'm not really pumped up. I've never been a Liv Morgan fan. I'm not a Liv Morgan enemy. Uh, I'm not a Liv Morgan hater. But at the same time, I don't know. I, I, I have been called uh, too uh, critical. I, I've been told that I'm too hard on the women and the men uh, at any given time. I just expect more. Um Sometimes I don't feel like I really get it from Liv Morgan, to be honest with you. It'll be interesting to see what they do. Uh, I said it a million times before, Vince loves blonde-haired ladies. Uh, it's his picture of what beauty is. And uh, I know I say that Becky Lynch is the man and, you know, Sasha and whatnot. I get it. But at the same time, it's not, uh, you know, it's just uh, uh, Vince historically, that's what he's into. So 
you know, it's, I'm not saying that's why she has a job. I'm not even suggesting that. I'm just saying if that were to be the case, I wouldn't be surprised. But once you get there, you got to earn your keep. And I've not really seen anything from her that makes me say, oh, well, yay. Thank you, Jamie. Paul, thank you for your uh, thoughts, man. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate that. Alma, what's up? Alma is asking, what, the, what is the deal with Daniel Bryan? Daniel Bryan done shaved off all his hair. He's going to get cold. Let me tell you something right now. Uh, for any of you dudes who wear a beard year-round, the minute you shave it in the wintertime, look out. Uh, when I first got into pro wrestling, I shaved everything. I had nothing. I shaved straight razor to the head like Austin. And, man, I froze to death for the longest time. Uh, but, uh, you know, you kind of get used to it, and after a while you don't really feel it. But, man, I bet he's cold right now. So, you know, that beard provides more warmth than you might think. Speaking of which, i got to trim this thing because it's quite the mess, as they say. Um, see, Jeff says, um, uh, thank you, Teresa, for your comment. Thank you, and I'm sorry to hear that. Jeff says, can they please end this law on Lashley Rusev now? No more about that. Jeff, from your mouth to the ears of God, my friend, um, I don't know if there's an end in sight to this to this uh, utter nonsense that is Lashley, Rusev, and Lana. I don't think that there is, to be quite honest with you. We shall see. Um, WWE's high on it. The crowd reacts. As long as the crowd's reacting, what are they going to do? Um, you know. See, Kelly says, uh, oh, thank you, Kelly. Oh, man, Kelly, that sucks. Thank you for sharing that. I appreciate it. Andrew says, who are your top five heels from 2019 from Ross? You know, I haven't done any year end of the year stuff, Andrew, now that you mention it. I'd like to. Um, I haven't. Maybe I will uh, orchestrate some end of the year lists and end of the year best matches and stuff. I got a whole bunch of matches saved in my phone that I felt could be candidates for match of the year. As far as top five best heels, um, does it have to be WWE? Outrageous 2020 prediction show. Shane, I could be down with that. Dude, I might do that. Shane, you got some of the best ideas, man. Can I be honest with you? I might do that for sure. Um, Andrew, can we can we branch out? Don't be just WWE. Is that okay? I would say in my top five heels of the year, um, I would say uh, MJF. In no particular, MJF, Jay White from New Japan. Um, Jay White's fantastic. Great heel. Great heel. Um I don't know if you could categorize Seth Rollins in that in that just yet. I think that uh, he could be. Adam Cole's a great heel, um, y you know, eh, but he's j he just gets cheered so often. It's hard to call a guy who's getting pops like crazy a true heel. I don't know that I can call him that. But uh, I don't know if I have a top five, man. I might have to think about that. I might have to come back to that. I love that idea, Shane, about the outrageous predictions. What's your take on tribute to the troops not airing on USA? I didn't know it wasn't airing, Chris. That's insane. That is insane. I had no idea about that. That's crazy. Match and superstar of the decade? Paul, you're killing me, man. I'm, my brain has been so scrambled over the past week, man. I can't, like, I, I, can't, I don't know. Of the decade? Of the decade, he says. Um, if you're asking me who who's the wrestler of the decade, I don't know. Tanahashi, maybe. Uh, who encapsulates uh, past ten years? I would say, depending on when Tana got started, uh, I'll have to go back and look that up. But I would say Tana, maybe. Uh, superstar of the decade. I mean, dude, he brought New Japan back from the brink. New Japan was in trouble, serious financial trouble, and Tana brought those guys back in a big bad way. If not for Tana, Okada would not have had the the um, the position nor the uh, opportunity to move up, in my estimation. So, yeah. Brad says, what do you think about Charlotte and Becky teaming up? I think Ghost gets everything they've been doing, but that's WWE. I'm not surprised. Triple threat match uh, in the ring on the 28th. Yeah, we'll see. On 26th, yeah, we'll see what happens. I, MSG, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know, man. I mean, I, I think it... Uh, uh, I think that WWE uh, takes a good idea uh, and they twist it and turn it, that kind of thing. We'll see. I like both of them, but I don't know if I would put them back together yet, but that's just me talking. Jeff says, what's your take on Seth and EOP? I like it. I don't think they have a team yet, team name yet, though. If nothing else, it gets uh, AOP on TV, which I'm good with. Teresa says, Merry Christmas. Thank you, Teresa, and to you and yours as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Angela. That means a lot. 
Um, Jason Michael Campbell, what's up? Welcome back to the show. Uh, let's see, Lance, what's up, man? Lance is my New Japan guy watching the show. Some of uh, some of the others listening and watching maybe New Japan guys as well. But Jeff is the man. Jeff hits me with New Japan stuff. I was watching. Uh, I, st- I listened to the New Japan revamped sort of podcast today, so pretty cool. Blenda, uh, Merry Christmas to you as well. Larry says, I think I like Seth as a heel. Maybe it's good because maybe it's because his voice makes him sound bad. Hey, there's something to be said for that, man. Presence is a big deal in this business. It's not just your look and your gear and, and your music and your pyro or lack of pyro or whatever. The presentation in and of itself is a big deal. But your cadence, your your tone, your pitch. Like I've been told multiple times that my voice was too high, right? I still hear it. I, I listen to my shows just not for any other reason, just because I can see how everything sounded and what I could work on and get do better with or whatever. But uh, I listen to my shows and I'm like, yeah, man, I can totally hear. Like, I feel like I'm down here. But then I listen to my shows and I'm up here. It's crazy. It's insane. I don't know why that is. I hate that. I wish I had a real strong commanding voice. That would be nice. But no, I totally get what you're saying. Uh, I get to actually take my time through the comments now. This is a cool one. I like this. The Shield of Pain. That'd be interesting. The SOP. Uh, Sean, I've not heard anything about Lars. Um, that thing became a massive train wreck, dude. Massive train wreck. We'll see what happens. Uh, Lisa says they aren't putting on the network either. Your take on Rhea taking the belt from... I liked it because it was unexpected. I liked it because uh, it was different. I liked it because I like Rhea Ripley. I don't think Rhea Ripley is going to be a babyface too much longer because she's such a such an, an intriguing heel. I think that uh, NXT laid a little bit of a whooping on AEW this past week in the ratings. Um you know, I, 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 before we went on the air here today, man, I had uh, one of you folks was hitting me up with a, with uh, some comments from a colleague in the pro wrestling uh, journalism business, I guess you could call it, saying that AEW may have reached the tipping point, that, the, you know, the Dark Order thing is too much, and it's, you know, it's a bunch of hoo-ha and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about any of that, because, like, it's one dude's opinion. Um, I'll say this. And I stick to this, and I don't care who you are. I don't care what your, your opinion is overall, what company you prefer over what company. But I will tell you this from me to you, from the dude in the Santa hat, okay? Um, when it comes to uh, who you should and shouldn't support, if any of you out there want to see AEW fail, I feel bad for you. You've got the wrong idea. It's not about AEW taking away Vince McMahon's spot. It's not about A.W. hurting the McMahon family. It's not about Tony Khan being worth $8 billion and McMahon's worth $2 billion, which is a true statement. It's not about any of that. It's about A.W. putting on the most uh, uh, presentable, the most entertaining pro wrestling product they possibly can. Uh, and they want to turn a profit. And as all good businesses should want to do is turn a profit. I do. Don't you? Um so for any of you out there who don't care about AEW, who thinks it's crap and wants to see them fail, I feel bad for you. Because then you're saying that that not only do you want them to not succeed, but that includes every wrestler on the, on the roster, uh, but not just them. The ring announcers, the referees, the timekeeper, the cameraman, the crew, everyone behind the scenes, the guys that put the ring together, the guys that put the set together. You're wishing all those dudes to be out of a job. And, you know, I have a problem with that. And that's one thing. Number two... You're telling me essentially that WWE is the only game in town. Everybody else can just go straight to, you know. And I disagree with that, dude. I think you have to keep an open mind. I'm not saying you have to love New Japan or you have to love AEW. But my God. I mean, if you're a pro wrestling fan, you should want other companies to be successful because it gives more places to work for the boys and the girls. And and it promotes a healthy environment for the pro wrestling business. So if any of you out there have wished ill upon AEW, dude, I, I'm telling you, I won't curse you to the ground, but I feel bad for you, man. That's ridiculous. Okay, I'm trying to get caught up here, so my apologies. Anyone that I'm ignoring, I'm not ignoring you intentionally. Nick says, uh, Edge coming back. We talked about the possibility of Edge coming back. Hey, Chip, what's up? Welcome to the show. Uh, DeMarco, thanks, man. Merry Christmas to you, too. Uh, let's see. What is your thoughts on Edge being medically cleared for... Uh, 
And I was Shane, I'll answer this the way I've answered it every single time someone's asked me about it. Um, it's Edge's health, it's his life, it's his family. If they're on board and he's healthy and he's safe and he can do this um, to a high level and it's something that he wants to do, then he should more... He should just go do it. Uh, if if this is what he feels like he needs to do for his career, if he wants to put a punctuation mark on his career or close the book on the career forever, and this is how he wants to do it, I say more power to him. Edge seems like a happy guy. Seems pretty well adjusted. He's not one of those cats who sits back and grieves over the fact that he left the business the way he did or was forced to leave. I don't know. That's just the outward appearance. If he grieves over it, he sure doesn't show it in public, right? Um, so, you know, I, I'm anxious to see what happens. I've always liked Edge. He's entertaining, man, for sure. Uh, Shane says Keith Lee is NXT's version of Braun Strowman. Shane, do you mean like in terms of athleticism or in terms of the fact this dude's never going to get the title? Hopefully not the latter. Uh, can't stand that Britt Baker keeps losing. Robert, a lot of people are saying that, man, for sure. I see your, I hear your pain too. Uh, bu- 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 I was talking about the interview with Chris and Nick. We will run predictions because this year she made a mistake of saying that Adam Cole would win the Miz match. He said, he said, bad idea. Adam Cole is so small, Robbie. That's the problem. Being small is not the end of the world in WWE like it used to be. Look at, look at Daniel Bryan. Look at AJ for that matter. But at the same time, Adam is, is a small dude, and I love Adam Cole. I think he's fantastic. But it's Vince Man's company. you got to remember who you're talking about here. This is not AEW that puts the title on Riho. Riho weighs like 43 pounds or some nonsense. So you got to remember again who you're talking about here. Uh, AEW or NXT. How about both, DeMarco? How about both? I'll take both. Uh, this is Okada, my friend. Xavier Ray, great name. Okada, Kazushka Okada, the Rainmaker. There you go. I love this shirt. Hey, hey, Brenda, what's up? Uh, no news on Nia Jax, Jeff. I think you might be the one that asks me all that all the time. Jim, welcome back to the show, man. Jeff knew, didn't he? Awesome. Yes, sir. I think I'm catching up to the comments now. Uh, Nathan, what's up? Thoughts on Stu Bennett's performance replacing Jim Cornette? Kills the 80s vibe for me, but I actually feel like it made the show better. Jim does tend to overpower stuff, Nathan. I love Stu Bennett. He's great. He's tall, dark, and sexy. Right, ladies? Uh, and he sounds amazing. He sounds great. That voice, my God, dude, that dude could read the phone book. I'd pay to hear him. You know what I'm saying? He's that good. I love him. I don't want to see him in the ring. I'd like to see him in the ring, but he will always be, for me, one of the big wasted moments of WWE. Wasted opportunity. And listen, I'll take this, I'll take this all the way to the end, and I'll hold true to this. The Nexus existed to get John Cena over, period. I don't care what you say. You're entitled to your opinion. I'll be glad to hear it. But the Nexus existed to get John Cena over, period. Okay? And proof positive of that is the fact that he dismantled the entire group himself. Um, that is proof positive that he, that they existed just to get him over. I can't be too mad at that because Je- John was the top guy, so I get it. At the same time, though, you had all these talented dudes. And, uh, you know, Wade Barrett, formerly known as Wade Barrett, now Stu Bennett was, was one of them. Fantastically talented. Awesome. I always said that uh, Stu Bennett could have been a James Bond uh, villain. He's that good. He's that menacing. He's that suave and debonair. You know what I mean? But yeah, so I love him on commentary. For sure. Uh, Marty Skrull. Yes, Shane. Thank you, Shane, for that, brother. I love Marty Skrull. I love the villain. People talking about Tom. Marty Skrull should sign with Vince Man. Tom. <gasps> Tom, Marty Skrull should go to WWE. You know what I say? No. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that at all. I don't want to see Marty working for WWE. They'll take that villain thing and they'll rename it something else they can make money off of. And they'll take that get that great theatrical presentation that Marty has and they'll just screw it six ways from Sunday. And we'll all be left going, what happened to Marty Skrull? And I'll be like, you people want him there. Don't come crying to me. Vince McMahon happened to Marty Skrull. You get me? Jim, it's all good, brother. Thank you for hanging out, man. Uh, buh, buh, buh. No word on the wellness policy. I'm not sure what Rude failed. Uh, guys, if you did, if you missed the intro of the show today, if I told you I've been watching wrestling nonstop for seven days, I'd be lying. I'm trying to get caught up. I'm watching TLC right now. I still haven't watched a, a TLC. I'm being straight with you. 
So I don't know even about what Rube got busted for, but I'll keep my ears open. If you guys know, let me know. Nick, is the question... Yeah, that makes sense. The question mark is Josephus. Yeah, it makes total sense. For sure. Right now, AEW is crap, including their last episode. However, I uh, do not want them to... Fight. Well, thank you, Will. That's a good... That's a good... It's okay to not be happy with it, right? I'm not saying you gotta love it, but yeah, you don't want to see him fail. Good, good on you. I agree with that totally. Are they gonna put Taker with Sting for a retirement match? I've been saying that for 15 years that they should, but that was 15 years ago, man. So I don't know. I mean, it feels like it's it's past, but they keep talking about Sting, don't they? It said on Twitter that he absolutely not coming back. Well, there you go, Alicia. There you go. All good for him. If that's what he wants to do. If he doesn't want to do it, go with God. It's all good. Tammy says, I like some of the content on AEW, but, uh, but some not that good. I think it's gotten better. Well, there you go. Yeah, it's all, it's just all on what you want to see. I think they're going down the wrong road with the Dark Order thing. Someone in that company sees something in those guys that I don't think the rest of us sees, and that's a scary thought. Because at this point, somebody in the crowd would have said, I like this. This is this is this is connecting. I'm ringing, it's ringing a bell. This feels good. Has anyone said that about the Dark Order? I mean, with any great idea, at some point there will be a connection made. But I don't feel like there's been a connection made at all. Um, my apologies for the sound of the fan. My laptop's working overtime here, which is crazy. I guess I could cut, close out the other browser. I actually have a Safari open up as well, so let me close that and see if that helps. My fear is that this is this shows up like deafening on the uh, audio version of the show. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, I could uh, close this out as well. Let me save it. Close this out. Maybe that'll help. She's working overtime, folks. Uh, well. Hang on, bear with me here, folks. I'm trying to shut this stuff down here. Well, that's not happening, is it? Oh, well, we tried. We made an effort. We gave it the old college try, didn't we, folks? Okay. Uh, Edge versus Seth or AJ. That would be safe matches, I would think, if he wanted to come back. Don't know if he will. I love Daniel Bryan, Sean. I'm a huge Bryan fan. Always have been. Always have been. Uh, thoughts on the new NXT Women's Champ? Uh, I like... We, well, we did. Well, we did say... I like uh, Rhea Ripley a lot. I don't think Rhea is long for the world of babyface talents. I think she's a heel through and through. I love her. Uh, she's And she's fun to watch in person. Man, she's really good. Uh, and I think she was the next logical choice to take Shayna Baszler out. Uh, of all the women they put up against her, <laughs> put up against her, uh, Rhea made the most sense in terms of taking her down. So... Um, Jeff, I agree with you. Okada's still in the best in the world, 100%. Can we be done with the story? Oh, Brenda, I know. Someone's always commenting on Lana, Rusev, and Lashley, for sure. Uh, new WWE U.S. title. You talking about, is there a new title belt? What's up, Brandon? I know the NWA is bringing back the uh, television championship. That's awesome. I love that. Yep, Skrull versus Aldis again. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Merry Christmas, Jason. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Marty and JP Day. Merry Christmas, uh, Brian. Thank you, man. <laughs> Steven says, I'm confused. Is Seamus returning as a face or as a heel? His recent promo could be taken both ways. I think, Stephen, they're going to keep it a mystery for a bit. And I'm going to be honest with you. I was thinking about this this morning, actually. Here's what I would do. Not like anyone asked me. You did, maybe. So I'll tell you what I think, what for what it's worth. Um, I would present him as a heel. And I'd make you think he's going to be a heel. And I would have some other heel say, I got a partner by a crackle. And here's my partner, Seamus. Come on out here. And the, the, the music hits. And da, 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 you know, here comes Seamus with all his red hair and stuff. People are like, boo, you suck. You suck so bad. We hate you so much, and we hate you more now, right? And then, so he comes out, but instead of healing out, he actually turns face. That would be sweet. That would be a nice twist. I'd buy that. Thank you, Chip. Appreciate that. It says, Paul says, do you think that it be is burying Matt Hardy? No. Dude, Paul, Matt's not getting buried, man. Listen, my, de listen, my definition, oh, we've been over this a lot. My definition of burying is not the same as everyone else's. My definition of burying a talent is never putting a guy on TV. That's burying someone. 
If a guy's on TV, he's getting paid, okay? I'm sure there's TV money involved. He's getting paid. He's getting on TV. He gets to ply his craft on national television. That's not getting buried. It doesn't matter that he's losing. We put too much stock in winning and losing as fans. Don't get too wrapped up in it. Yes, it means something a lot of the times, but sometimes it really doesn't mean anything at all. Matt's losing a lot right now. Don't read too much into it. Um, I wouldn't. You can if you want to. Who am I to tell you what to do? Do what you want. But for me personally, I'm not going to read too much into it. I, th I think if Matt didn't want to do what he's doing, then he wouldn't be doing it. That's just me talking. I don't think he... I don't necessarily think he needs to come back and work for the paycheck. Maybe he does. I don't know. It's not my business what his financial situation is. But I would be fine with that. I mean, whatever he wants to do. So, no, I don't see getting buried at all. Hey, David needs to push Jungle Bull. Well, I think they are, Shane, for sure. I, th I feel like we got a taste of that this past week. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Jason, don't, don't tell me about the Star Wars movie. I want to go see it. I'm just... I'm going to have to go see it. i got to figure out when I'm going to go see it. Which, uh, well, we talked about Brian a little bit already, James. I love Brian. No Bischoff and Dutch. Yeah, some people are making a stink about Bischoff not getting in touch with NWO. Dude, guys, listen. And gals, ladies, hi, I'm Tom. I got the cool hat. So, um, here's my thoughts. Take it or leave it. This is Vincent Kennedy McMahon, okay? It, listen, if you don't know by now what this cat's capable of now, in 2019, you're never going to know. Don't be surprised that Eric Bischoff didn't get inducted to the Hall of Fame. Don't be surprised they're not even talking about him. I'm not. You shouldn't be either. It's a Vincent McMahon, dude. He's going to do what he wants to do. It's his game. He's the coach, the owner, the GM, the the president. He's the, he's the dog, right? And when you're the dog, you don't have to worry about explaining anything to anybody. And whatever you want to do is what you're going to do. And that's what we're seeing right now. That's flat out what we're seeing. That's what we've been seeing for 30 plus years, man. We're going to see it for... You know, however long we all have left to watch this stuff. That's just how it is. I think it's silly, too. But, you know, don't get too bent out of shape over it. It's easy to do it, for sure. It was cool seeing Nikita again, Toby. I love that guy. Jim, what's up? NWA is not only bringing back the TV title, but they're also bringing back the national tag title. Dude, I missed that one. That's awesome. I say bring back all the belts, okay? Then you'll be forced to do more than an hour on TV, and I'm fine with that because I love me some wrestling. I'll tell you this right quick. There's only been a few constants in my life, in my entire life. Um, family is one, uh, but the other two are pro wrestling and comic books and music. So I got three constants. No matter who I was with, friends with, dating at the time, no matter who, where I was working, no matter what I was doing in my everyday life, pro wrestling has always been a constant. And so I love that. And it'll always be a constant. I can't imagine myself not uh, involved in pro wrestling, which is why I'm getting myself back into pro wrestling, so I can't wait for that. So, yeah. Seamus would get a really good pop going, oh, Toby, Toby, preach. Preach, Toby. So now I'm on the I'm in the camp of let's send Seamus after Corbin. I could get down with that. At least to give Corbin something interesting to do for a change. And, you know, even though everyone's still going booing because it's Corbin and because... He's not exactly the best heel you've ever seen on the planet, but at the same time, man, that would be uh, that'd be interesting. And I do like Seamus. I think he can make it work. And I'm looking at Aleister Black all bloodied, staring at the camera. And that's some scary stuff, man, let me tell you. Yeah, and then there's Charlie Caruso going with all her lip gloss on. She's got nine pounds of lip gloss, 16 pounds of makeup. Her hair is perfect. Nothing's out of place. This company is obsessed. Do you understand me? Obsessed. You don't even know if you did if the W logo wasn't on there, you wouldn't even know what you're watching right now. You wouldn't know that's pro wrestling. Look at her. Listen, be pretty. It's cool. I don't care. And I'm not saying it had to be a big old hairy dude like me. I get it. But my God, what am I looking at right now? This company in strong denial about who they are, and they have been for years. We're wrestling. No, we're not wrestling we're sports entertainment. It's a wrestling ring. A sports entertainment ring. They're pro wrestlers. They're sports entertainers. What do I say to that? Hogwash. Tim, thank you, man. I appreciate that. So I know that, was it Jey Uso that was, uh, went to court, found not guilty, right? Yeah, well, okay. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. No, i got to watch. Uh, as I said before, but I've got to get caught up. Got to get caught up. Well, Larry, I guess the Ascension were buried after time because they quit putting them on TV. 
Uh, but, but, uh, Shane, I like it. I, dude, I, I see what they're doing. They're doing something a la the Four Horsemen with Nick Aldis, and I'm okay with that. I think Nick is fine by himself, to be honest with you. But, dude, I'm all for it, for sure. Uh, is the Fiend going to wrestle or Bray against Daniel? I don't know. I say go with Bray this time, so I have to look at that stupid red light the whole night. No, I've uh, I've not talked about Cole yet. Has Cole shown up in AEW? Man, I am behind, aren't we? Has he shown up in AEW? My God, I missed it. See, I told you guys I was behind, right? Crazy. <laughs> I got AEW on the DVR, so I watched most of it the other night, but not all of it. So now I got to go back and watch and see, and see what I can see. Uh, <laughs> Victor says he thinks he wants to smoke, right? It's good stuff. Am I to the bottom? I'm to the bottom. Yay. Bad Santa. Lori, am I the bad Santa? I'm a teddy bear, man. Come on. Uh, blood, the bloodline. Right? Is that what they're calling it? Family and friends. Uh, wrestling and Star Wars and, and, and 80s music. Yeah. Yeah, Mark. I hear you. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate that. So this has been an odd show for me. Uh, we haven't had a ton of viewers, but, you know, out of sight, out of mind, I suppose. Uh, can I be honest with you? That's out of mind, but it's all, it's all good. You have to uh, you have to maintain uh, some semblance of a presence for people to keep coming back, right? And I've got my loyal audience here, as far as the regular everyday folks who will stop in on Wrestling Rumors Facebook page. The Mayor might not have shown up today, but uh, it is what it is. So um, I'm powering through this, man, doing the best I can. You like the shirts? I got New Japan. I got the Nature Boy. I got the Anderson, Arn Anderson, a double A shirt, a gift from a friend of mine, autographed by double A himself. And then, of course, the dream, Dusty. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jeremy says CM Punk. Okay, CM Punk. All right. I love Punk. I've always been a Punk fan. So real quick, uh, before we go much farther, and you guys can keep throwing stuff out to me, it's all good. I want to remind you guys of something very important to me anyway. Uh, I am the social media director for High Velocity Wrestling. We are a company based in Western North Carolina, specifically out of Hendersonville, North Carolina. We're running our first big return show January 25th. If any of you cats are in the Mid-Atlantic region of these United States, please, we'd love for you to come to the show. Bring all the friends you want to. The tickets are available on eventbrite.com. I'm going to be there. A lot of my friends are going to be there. It's going to be a blast. I'm, I'm promoting all over social media. We've got a Facebook page. We've got a website. We've got everything you can possibly imagine. We've got some cool videos happening. So please go check it out. There's my shameless plug. So there you go. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, CM Punk uh, be in the Royal Rumble. No, I don't, Bobby. I don't think he'll be in the Royal Rumble. I wouldn't wrestle again if I were him. Not for Vince. I want AW to succeed, but the last few weeks I feel like it's missing something. To push it. Steven, I agree with you. It kind of seems like the NXT has been making all these moves to make you want to watch the show. And then like AEW hasn't done much of anything except just the basic stuff they do all the time. Which does beg the question, who's booking this stuff? You know what I mean? From the top down. Whose call is it to, to put certain matches in certain places? And, you know, you've got Kenny. Listen, you've got a roster that has Kenny Omega, John Moxley, Chris Jericho, Cody Rhodes, Pac. Uh, you know, bona fide superstars. Internationally known bona fide superstars. What are you doing with him? You know? Cody's at the top, but like, what are you doing with everybody else? I don't know, man. Crazy. Uh, thanks, Mark. Appreciate that. Oh, Victor, don't tell me about it. I want to go see it. William, what's up, man? Thanks for hanging out. Uh, Jenna, that's the word, is that Ronda's coming back. Hopefully, Ronda's got some shorts that fit her this time. Because Ronda Rousey's ring gear is a gimmick all in of itself. It's a whole different story. I could write columns about her booty shorts that that and it's not it wouldn't even be like that it'd just be like get some new gear for crying out loud you see what i'm saying it's it's oh all the money in the world this chick all the money in the world vince mcmahon they can't get some ring gear on her that makes sense am i the only one that sees this nxt has been really good tim 100 percent. i i totally agree uh, omega's being misused yeah i agree with that Hey, Shane, thank you for that, man. Shane's been watching the HVW promos. We got some good talents, man. That show is stacked. We got six matches. We got 15 talents. Some of the best in the state. I can't wait to get there. It's going to be so much fun. 
you know when Jim Morrison is making his return to the ring. There's all kinds of rumors right now, Angela. I don't want to speculate too much, but there's rumors going on that he's going to be back anytime now. I wouldn't doubt that we'd see him on TV sooner rather than later. But I'm going to be honest with you. They're not doing anything with the guys they have. How are you excited? Not you, but anybody. How can you get excited about Jim Morrison when uh, Jim, John Morrison? <laughs> I like to get excited about Jim Morrison. He was a man. How do you get excited about John Morrison when you freaking know that they're not going to do anything with him? Drew McIntyre is there. What have they done with Drew? Whole bunch of nothing. Right? Crazy. Uh, what do you think of Edge? Okay, so Jenna, we've, some, we've talked about this. Um, there's this conflicting reports about the Edge situation. We'll see how it all plays out. But if, in my opinion, he's leading up to a match at Mania, who would he lead up to a match with? Seth, maybe? I don't know. You know, good think. But if he does, Seth's winning, right? Not have to rumble for Morrison. Makes sense, Paul. Makes total sense. I'm not going to argue with that. We've had a whole bunch of comments, man. It's pretty cool. Not that many viewers, but a whole bunch of comments. Uh, Morrison versus Black. Oh, I'd buy that for sure. The good thing about the fact that Morrison's not been in WWE for a long time is that you can come up with all sorts of great dream matches that you couldn't see before because Edge was retired. Right? Makes perfect sense to me. Steven says, thoughts on WWE bringing in a few women just to keep uh, just squashed by already established names. Eh, squash matches are good. I don't know that they're necessary, but they're good. Squash matches are good. You want to know why? If for no other reason than for an established star, your star, to show off. Now, they couldn't show off if the underneath talent is not good. Excuse me, obviously. Um, the underneath talent needs to do a good job in the squash. Anybody can get tossed around, obviously. You, you all could work a squash match. I could, too. But if you're not in the right place at the right time, if your selling is not good, if you don't look the part, if you're not really putting over the fact that you're getting killed, it's going to make that guy look like crap, right? So you have to be good. Uh, you have to be good in any step of this business. And I don't guess you have to be. It's a, it's advised that you are. How about that? So uh, I'm okay with the squash matches. Do I want to see them every match? No, but no. You know, I, I want to see them sometimes be fine. What's up, Justin? Do you think Killer Cross joins Scott and WWE? Perhaps, but I haven't heard anything like that. Edge versus Sting versus Undertaker. Uh, I don't know, Alma. That seems like a lot to unpack in one match. Jenna says, uh, believes that Morrison's going to be in the rubble. I wouldn't be surprised. Rebecca says, do you think Randy, think Randy got seriously involved in the... Uh, you think Randy got seriously injured? I haven't heard anything like that, Rebecca. I'm not saying you didn't, but I haven't heard. Shane says Alistair Black and Drew McIntyre should be headlining Raw. Uh, WWE just wasting their time. Yeah, well, yeah, a lot of people are saying that. I can't really argue with that too much. William says, I think Ronnie needs to come back. Just my opinion. Crowd loves her. Well, yeah, no, I didn't say she shouldn't come back. But I got to be honest with you. When Ronda cuts those promos that are really, really wordy and she talks for way too long and the last half of her sentence trails off because the crowd's starting to get a little restless and you don't hear the last 12 words she says, ugh. And then they let Becky rip on her. Like, what are you even talking about? I don't even understand what you're saying. Like, that was really holy cow time, right? And they had people sitting at ringside eating KFC at TLC. What am I watching? Folks, don't forget, you can have some KFC at the TLC. I, I, I don't even know what to say right now. Insane. Uh, da, 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 da. Will Breeze go to, Baylor go to Raw and Stacey? Well, maybe Justin. We'll see. Vic... Who do you think will win the... I don't know, man. I keep getting asked that question. I've got to be honest with you. I get, I get my head in the pro wrestling mode. It's not really in pro wrestling mode. I haven't written anything in 10 days. I'm trying to gear myself back up and get to the point where I can sit down behind this laptop and write a little something, something. I got friends encouraging me to do it, and I want to do it, but I don't. I just don't have the motivation just now to do it. I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. Uh, Toby, I think Alistair's nose get, did get broken, but I haven't heard anything to the contrary or to uh, confirm that. I um, think Joe's going to... Well, Rebecca puts it this way. You got Samoa Joe in your roster who's capable of doing good things, great things. You're not going to do it. You're going to you're gonna put Brock over on him. You're going to put everybody over on him. I mean, Joe pinned Roman. He pinned some other guys. And then he doesn't do anything else. He, he don't get a title. I mean, really, he don't get anything. He don't get any kind of title reign to last at all. He just doesn't get a thing. Eh, might as well stick him on commentary. I feel like he's going down the same road Punk went down. 
And it, Joe's older than Punk was at that time, I'm guessing, right? I'm sure he was. I'm sure he is. But uh, it kind of feels like the same thing where it's like, hey, Punk, you want to do some commentary? And he's like, okay. And Joe's like, hey, Joe, you want to do some commentary? He's like, sure, okay. Because like, you're not going to do anything else with me. I'm not doing anything else. Might as well do some commentary. That's just me talking. So again, sorry about the sound of the fan from the laptop. Hopefully it's not overpowering my audio here. I'll find out when I mix the show together. Uh, yeah, Jim, you're right. You're right. Mark, thanks for hanging out. All right, what time are we on? We're almost up to an hour, baby. Wasn't that cool? It's hot up here. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, my office is upstairs and uh, heat rises. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Um, put Joe with Seth and AOP. Yeah, I don't know if they need him, but yeah, why not? I'd buy that for sure. Yeah, thanks, man. I've worn all these shirts on the show except for the Arn. I don't think I'm going to wear the Arn shirt because he autographed it. Because if I wear it, i got to wash it. I don't want to wash it, right? Which the Sharpie may not wash off, but I don't want to give it a, give it a, a take a chance. I thought I'd hang something up behind me that had something to do with pro wrestling because it, so it wasn't just me. It was a whole bunch of pop vinyls, right? And then I got Miles Davis over in the corner. I got my Miles Davis poster. I got my vinyl. I got my record player right there. I got the Beatles next to him. And then over on that side, I've got nothing but like more pop vinyls. DVDs are on this side. Everything's backwards. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate that, man. Uh, yeah, Jeff. Can I be honest with you? Chris. Oh, God, Chris. Oh, God, Chris. Dad bod doesn't describe it. Chris has a uh, hoy. Yeah. Even my wife is like, ooh, what happened to Chris? I'm like, I don't know what to tell you, right? I'm not his personal trainer. What's up, Gary? Everybody say hello to Gary. Gary is the owner and promoter of HVW High Velocity Wrestling. My boss. There you go. But I'm not on the clock right now, okay? I'm just kidding. Uh, Gary's been there through all this. Uh, he's been a great, uh, a great friend to me. And uh, it's been awesome uh, having that support system. It's been ha awesome having that support system from all you guys. And again, my apologies for ranting about it. Um, you know, a lot of you who maybe don't watch the show on a full-time basis don't know who I am and don't know what I really what I'm talking about. So my apologies for getting off track. Uh, let's see. Chris turned 50. Uh, that's what, Oh, I see. Hey, Jim. He's up on your talk about 50, man. I'm not too far from it. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you again. And Merry Christmas to you as well. <laughs> Christmas time. Uh, thank you, Toby. Thank you. What's up? So, uh, sorry we didn't get into a whole lot today. I'm not saying goodbye right now. I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to cool down. It's a little warm up here. I got water, so you know I could take a drink of water. But then I'm recording a show, and I try not to drink. I made the mistake of drinking coffee before during podcasts, and that's not a fun time, folks, because I have some wacky sound effects happening when that happens. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. And uh, yeah, so thank you, Sandy, for hanging out. My DOG's walking back in here. Yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, it's it's been, a, it's been a heck of a week, man. But, you know, we'll get through it eventually. Yeah, Gary's right, man. As I said before, if any of you folks are in the, in the Carolinas or in anywhere in the Mid-Atlantic region, North Carolina, we can give you some info, baby. Let you know how to get to the show and all that good stuff. We're looking forward to it. Jeff says Raw is coming out my neck of the woods in Winnipeg, Canada. Jeff, I didn't know you're in Canada, bro. Awesome. Uh, maybe three hours will go by faster. No, no, Jeff, they don't. No, they really don't. No. Um, so Raw, Raw is coming back to or SmackDown? I forget to Greenville, I think. And tickets went on sale. Like last week, I didn't get them. Um, I, I get more enjoyment out of going to the smaller shows, to be honest with you. I enjoyed AEW. New Japan's coming back to the States this year in January. Yay. I'll be there. Can't wait. Uh, uh, so that'll be fun. But uh, yeah, man, I don't know. I don't... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Thank you, Alma. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Early predictions for the Dusty Road. Ooh, Steven. I don't know, man. Ooh, you have to think Undisputed Era would have a uh, would have a leg up in that thing for sure. If I mean NXT is great for not finding talent necessarily, but putting talent in good spots and 
getting them exposure on national television now because of the USA and all that. And, you know, I'm looking forward to that bit of it. So we'll see what happens. Sorry, it's kind of a non-answer. Uh, Jim says, if I lived in that area, I would so... Uh, hey, thanks, Jim. Hey, folks, listen, if you don't live in the Carolinas, it's all good because guess what we're going to do? We're in talks right now to stream the event. <gasps> live stream, J live stream. I'll get it out. Live stream, baby. That's that's what we're hoping for, so stay tuned on that. All the information, highvelocitywrestling.com, baby. And all over our social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. There you go. Uh, yeah, man, New Japan's coming to the States. I'm looking forward to it. All right, man, so uh, it's been about an hour, give or take. And, um, hmm. yeah, man. So listen, uh, next week is Christmas. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be here next week, okay? So don't anyone get worried. Uh, listen, I have no plans of stopping the show. I've been doing the main event for six years. This is my baby. Uh, if I wasn't uh, uh, on Wrestling Rumors Facebook, which I very much appreciate, I'd be doing this somewhere, okay, because I love it. I'm not stopping, uh, especially not now, because I see the love and support I'm getting from everybody, and it means a lot to me. So thank you very much. I'm sorry. Uh, it's been tough. It's going to be all right. We'll get there. We'll get there. So, um, I think I'm getting out of here, man. It's hard uh, right now. It's hot. I can't stand it anymore. Thanks to everybody for watching. I'm sorry we weren't, uh, you know, exactly Ringling Brothers up in here and giving you all the crazy hoo-ha and, you know, court jester stuff and being all entertaining or whatnot. But uh, I got some stuff to get to today. So, I think we're going to get out of here. Thank you very much, Jason. Thank you, everybody. For hanging out with me this past hour. It's been a blast. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Thank you for your support and your love. And trust me when I tell you this. It means more to my family than you will ever know. Okay? So thank you very much. I'll never forget you guys for this. This has been fun. This has been awesome. I want to get back to some semblance of reality. So I'm going to attempt to do that. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Victor. Thank you, Stephen. Um, a Tom UK spoke a word tour. Stephen! Let's hook it up, baby! I'm there. I've always wanted to go to the UK. You're getting me off track. Thank you for making me end this with a smile on my face. Very nice of you. God bless you guys too. Thank you very much for everything. If you don't do anything this week, do one thing for me. Have a good Christmas. Hug your kids. Talk to your family. If you got if you got issues with somebody in your family and you haven't talked, reach out. Don't just do it because of Christmas. Do it because it's the right thing to do. And don't look at me and tell me it's too hard. It's not too hard. Make it happen. If anybody of your family is having issues, any kind of issues, pick up the phone and call them and tell them that you're there for them. They don't have to do, they don't have to make bad decisions. They don't have to do anything like that. Tell them that you're there for them, okay? And be there for them. Don't just say it, but do it. You owe that to them. I don't care about the bad blood. Bad blood means nothing. In the long run, it means nothing to anybody. Dude, you'll, you'll take it with you in the end and... No, none of us want to go out like that. So clear up any bad blood that may exist and get this thing figured out. Be there for your family. It's important. I'm not going to preach to you anymore. I'm getting out of here. Thank you, everybody, again for all the love. I appreciate it very much. And uh, I look forward to coming back and trying to get normal again. That's all I got for you here, man. Everybody, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to you. And we will see you next time on Tom Clark's main event. <laughs>